Um, all right, so this is my personal 2014 Toyota Tacoma. Found this down in Florida, actually bought it used. Uh, I had some of the parts on it, such as you know the bumpers, the sliders, and then I brought it um, up to where it is now, um, what's considered fully built. Start at the front of the vehicle, um, ARB bumper. This is one of their classic bumpers. Um, love these bumpers because the ARB are actually DOT approved. Um, intensity off-road lights also from ARB. Uh, I got some um, Baja Design um, S2 Pro lighting for uh, sort of fog and snowy conditions. Uh, just underneath, ARB recovery point. The Tacomas don't have really good recovery points, so we like to add those. Hidden behind here, the recovery is a um, worn come up 9.5 RS winch with a synthetic line. To finish off the winch, we got the Factor 55 posse fair lead and then the flat link e uh, you can use either a shack, soft shackle or hard shackle um, really nice uh, piece of recovery kit the real awesomeness is actually underneath and you really can't see uh, so this truck was re-geared with 488 gears from uh, nitro gear and axle it has a front and rear uh, air activated arb lockers and then the real fun stuff in the back is it actually has an upgraded rear axle from a t100 toyota like I said, uh, this um, Pelfrey built bumper with a swing out, fold down table, which is kind of fun. Um, this is the high clearance bumper, so it requires you to cut part of your bed off. CBI makes a product like this as well. Uh, it gives you some extra clearance and better departure angle off-road. Um, the only thing I did forget to talk about is the suspension. This does has the Old Man Emu BP51, um, fully adjustable rebound and compression dampening suspension on heavier duty leaf springs to handle the weight of the KMP, um, the tent, and the rear bumper. If you actually take a zoom in there, these are about four years old and they have uh, no sign of corrosion. So it's been a really reliable suspension system for us in New England. All right, so let's uh, get into the, <laughs> the fun storage parts. Pop it open here. I got this all set up. It's a little messy, um, but basically we have a ARB classic fridge on one of Alley Cab's um, fridge slides so you can access your um, goodies pretty easily. Um, I run this uh, all the time. I have a dual battery system, which I'll show you in a minute. This basically gets um, kept on pretty much year round. Um, Alley Cab drawer system, and then basically keep this thing ready to go to the beach and camping pretty much all the time. So, as some people know, I'm also a photographer. So I have a, this is my little power station. So I got my inverter, power strip. Um, this runs power to the tent when I have the tent open. Um, basically you got your auxiliary fuses here. Just keep this thing ready to go loaded. Um, and this is wired to the auxiliary battery. Um, so we can leave that running pretty much indefinitely. And these canopies are nice because they actually open on all three sides. Um, so you have access to all your equipment um, from any, any angle basically. So this is the Alucab um, 3.0 tent. They just came out with a 3.1, um, but the exterior of this tent is the same as the 3.1. This has been an awesome product. I've had a few of these double walled uh, canvas. So they're really waterproof, weatherproof. And then I'll pop the awning open as well. So this is the, shad uh, sh the 270 degree shadow awning also from Alucab, um, all made in South Africa. And honestly, this is probably one of the best pieces of equipment you can buy, especially if you're beachgoers and um, inclement weather. That is nuts. That's it. Yeah, so this is a, it's a polis design. You literally just open it up, attach the contact point, lift this uh, little pole, and then you basically just crank it all down and you're good to go. Give you a quick tour under the hood. Pretty basic, but um, so dual battery system from Off Grid Engineering. Uh, this uses the basic ACR, automatic charging relay. Um, there's your ARB compressor for airing up. Um, that's the auxiliary battery back there, which is hooked into all the you know, refrigerator and all the stuff that gets powered permanently. Um, if you look on top of the roof, there's actually a 180 watt solar panel, which is getting wired in this weekend. Um, that's a, something from, uh, from a company called Sunflare Solar. And those are designed just to be glued right to the roof. Um, and they're just super low profile, super high performing. Um, that's a 180 watt solar panel. This is, I'm very happy with the way this comes out. It's, it's fully dialed. Um, as I said, it's kind of like a comfortable pair of boots. Like I, when I get in the trail in the woods, I know exactly where every square inch of the truck is. Um, you know, I think it's a reasonable build for both 
off-road performance and then still get on the highway and do 80. Um, this would be our soup to nuts stage three build. Full suspension, full armor, full interior. This is, this is the soup to nuts build. Yeah, no, I'm happy to show you uh, old gray. <laughs> our, um, so we're really active on Instagram at Rocco Vehicles. Um, and then you can email us, um, sales at roccovehicles.com. Um, we are jamming right now. We are super busy. We're booking months out in advance, unfortunately. But give us a call, we'll help you out.